Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to be editing this portrait here. Um, as you can see, I've already manipulated the levels, color graded it the way I wanted it, and we're going to bring it into Photoshop. So the first thing I usually do is I duplicate the original layer. I, I like to call it OG. <laughs> yo, yo, what's up, OG, triple OG, OG, triple, triple, OG. Uh, I make two of them, one where I am working with and one where there is a backup just in case I mess up. There's always a backup of a backup of a backup. So we'll start off by removing distracting things, um, items that I usually don't like to see or anything that stands out to me that just looks really weird in terms of the photo. After that, as you can see here, we're going to start adding a glow. I just want to, you know, bring out the vibrancy of the sun behind them, uh, make it a little, make it look a little bit more uh, sunset-ish, a little bit more yellow. So I'm going to be implementing that here using these tools. Make some of that yellow pop a little bit more. Of course, I'm adding some yellow mixed with a little bit of red. And then I'm um, just going to make that glow a little bit stronger. I'm going to remove some from her face so that way it looks like it was behind her and not in front of her, of course. And then you just duplicate it to make it pop a little bit. Adjust it to your liking. All right, so we're gonna be zooming in here. I'm just checking everything, making sure everything looks good to me. And I definitely wanna work on that piece of hair right above her head. That's the one that struck out to me the most. Um, and we're going to use the spot healing brush to get rid of that. So I'm gonna re replace this layer with the uh, hair edit layer, just in case I mess up, you can always go back. And there you go. Hopefully uh, this fix here makes it super easy, thankfully. Let's just adjust this here. Make a few little more adjustments here on this side. And again, we're gonna be looking at this picture from afar, so don't worry about the big details. This This should be perfectly fine right here. We're going to zoom out here in a sec. Voila. Looks great to me. I'm going to get rid of a few more distracting objects. And I think we're ready to go. Let's save it and bring it back to Lightroom. So once we're back in Lightroom, what I like to do is I like to set the one that's final to green which labels it as done or finished in my book. And then after that, we X out or reject the workable file, which is labeled in blue. Thanks for watching, guys.